Hey more outdoors, so uh, it's Wednesday, it's the weekly blog, video log thingy that I was going to do. Anyways, some of you guys are actually watching my video, so I'm going to keep going uh, going until someone says they suck or tell me to stop. Let me turn the music down. So tonight I didn't know what to talk about, then I thought about it. <clears throat> Think about a time when me and my father, dad-in-law, what do you want to call him? Dean, were deer hunting state land. We call it the battlegrounds. Just because one time we were watching each other, we we're sitting there, and I literally, I was sitting right next to him talking. And I'm like, you know, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna walk 50 yards to the south. Just as I stand up, I hear a whizzing noise, and I look back, and there's bark bust off above Dean's head. Some uneducated, smart, not that smart, don't know nothing really of what he's doing. Probably came from the cities. Shot at a deer that none of us have ever seen. And the slug kept flying and hit, landed about five inches above Dean's head. We said, yep, we're done. Honestly, we haven't deer hunted a state land since. So now I've went to bow hunting, but he still deer hunts once in a while. But I'm trying to find him a good spot. I want to. I don't want him to get shot. Obviously, no one wants to get shot. But it happens, and people don't know when to shoot. Don't shoot up a hill, and don't shoot until you know what you're hitting. Hitting, and know what's beyond your target. It's not that hard. They teach you that in gun safety when you're 12 years old. There's a deer. Okay. There's an open field. Know what's behind that deer. The slug may go through the deer, and it'll keep flying. It's not that hard, people. I said, screw it. I'm going bow hunting. And when slug season comes, hopefully I have a deer before deer slug season happens. Because my butt is not going out in the woods during deer hunting season, I can tell you that. I don't even want to go pheasant hunting. But it's not that hard. I think next week, next week is going to be a pretty good video for all the beginners and new people coming into hunting. It's what I found successful for asking permission to hunt other people's property. I'm only gonna do about a four or five minute video every week until I find something really good or until we start getting bang. I mean, April 18th is turkey hunt season. I'm gonna be trying to film my own turkey hunt off my phone, which I don't know if it's gonna be any good. Must be, because I can zoom. Anyways, that's great. I cannot wait till turkey hunt season. I cannot wait until deer hunt season. I think it'll be an okay video for starters. So next week, I'm going to talk about, on Wednesday, I am going to be talking about how to get on private land. What I've done, the hints, the things that I could give you, new hunter, anyone looking to get on the private land, which I don't know how many beginners I have watching this video, but tips on how to get on private land next week. This week, I'm going to go back to the battlefield. State land, not safe. Don't like it because people do not think. They just want to go kill a deer. Yeah, you may kill a deer, but if you don't know what's behind your target, you may be killing someone's kid, son, father, daughter, mother, somebody. I hear every year someone getting shot. Wear blazed orange doesn't mean you're not going to get shot. Because there's people that, it's not even sun up yet, and I'm hearing bullet shotgun shells going off. Like, come on, guys. It's not that hard. Know your territory. Know what you're shooting at. And there you go. Who cares if it's a big buck running over the hill? Doesn't mean shoot ten rounds at it. That's another thing that gets me. I'm listening to these guys with semi-automatic shotguns, and it's bang, 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 six slugs. Well, guess what? Half time, I'm seeing those six slugs hit trees 20 yards in front of me. I should not have to dodge and weave bullets, because one of these times, I'm not going to dodge and weave the right one, and I'm not going to be here doing any more educational, dumb videos, whatever you want to call this. I hope you guys like my videos. But anyways, state land. Is scary. It can get. It can be safe though. Pheasant hunting. 
I'm glad the DNR ain't getting these lands for us, that the farmers ain't taking all of it and the cities ain't growing into all of it. You guys just gotta be safe. Where's Blazed Orange? If I have to, I will do a safety video on what to wear. It's not that hard. I like, personally, when I'm deer hunting, from head to toe, I'm blaze orange. If I'm slug season hunting. Pheasant hunting, I'm always wearing an orange hat, orange vest. Honestly, I'm seeing a lot of guys start wearing, or getting dog, these dog vests that are orange. Not a bad idea. A vest is a great idea for your dog. That should be another video I want to go over. Is hunting vest for dogs. Because you do not know where there's a wild wire fence. Anything on the state land. Pretty good. Pretty clean. But you never know. There might be some wild wire fence somewhere. So once again. That's all I can come up with about state land. Like I said. They're just going to be quick. Under 10 minute videos. Hope you guys like. I can tell you a bunch of state lands. Yeah. So, stay safe. You guys have fun. And next week we'll talk about how to get permission on private property. And week after that, I have no idea. Comment below and tell me what you guys want to hear for two weeks video. Next week's going to be private land.